This is Yish in your ear. What's good? I am Yish. This is Yish in your ear. Today I bring you the FL Studio 12 Master Series. Part one, we're gonna talk about the new plugin database that ImageLine introduced. It's a lot different than it was in the previous versions of FL Studio. It allows a lot more customization and organization. All right, so enough of me talking. Huh, let's get to it. All right, so under the plugin database, um, icon in the browser, you have three folders, the effects, the generators, and the installed. Um, the installed is all of the plugins that you have installed on your system, which FL Studio um, scans for. Uh, the effects are put into a separate category, generators are put into a separate category. Um, and then you have your favorite folders at the top, which is effects, and again, generators. And under these, you have uh, the various categories or sub folders um, for the plugins themselves to be stored into. A word of caution, FL Studio 12 at the moment of this video registers some of the plugins types incorrectly. Um, and what I mean by that is some of the synthesizers are registering as effects and some of the effects are registering as synthesizers. Um, so you have to be careful with that. All right. So moving on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda start from scratch with the categories, because right now, this has things in it that I don't necessarily use, um, and I want to customize it to my own liking. If you right click on one of the three folders in here, effects, generators, and install, and go to open, you'll find that that folder in the browser is an actual folder on the hard drive. Now, word of caution, do not remove this um, set of files here that says none. Those are required in order to remove a plugin from uh, either your channel rack or your mixer. If you take those off, this disappears. I am going to customize this how I want. So I'm gonna start off by first removing these from here and I'm gonna drop them in here. Now you can put them anywhere you choose, it's up to you. All right, so now our effects folder is generally empty. I'll do the same thing with the generators folder. All right, now if we go back into FL Studio, the effects folder and the generators folder is now empty with the exception of the none function. All right, so going back to our plugin database, all right, going to effects. Actually, let's do this. Let's start with generators. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it drums. Create another new folder, call it synths. Create another new folder, samplers. And finally, another new folder. I'm gonna call it miscellaneous. All right, and as you can see, as I create these here, it creates them over here. If we go into effects, we can do reverb, we can do delay, we can do dynamics, saturation, modeling, whatever. And again, it's showing up over here on the left side. Okay, so now that we got that set how we want it, there are a few ways, specifically two ways to, um, to set up your, your favorites here. I'll show you the quick and easy way, all right? I'm gonna go into install, I'm gonna go into effects, VST, I'm gonna grab all of the MDA plugins, all right? Copy. I'm gonna go back to effects. I'm gonna put a new folder here. MDA. 
all right I'm gonna paste those into here now I should have in the effects folder a MDA folder with all of my MDA plugins very simple very easy FL studio does have a show images function where you can actually see the image of the plugin doing what I just did would not allow you to see those images all right let's do a generator I want to take battery which is what I use uh, for most of my drums copy okay go into the actual plugin database folder under generators and drop that into drums all right let's go back to FL studio so now it should be under drums cool so I just showed you how to grab the plugins from the install folder in Windows Explorer copy and paste them into whatever folder under the favorite folders that you want those to reside in now I'm going to show you how to do it from here all right so let's go back to battery battery 4 now I grabbed this out of the generator folder I mentioned it earlier make sure you grab it on the right folder so let's go down to battery 4 we'll drag battery 4 onto the channel rack now collapse the browser open the plugin database again highlight generators drums there's nothing in there right now click the drop down that is on the actual plugin interface in the upper left corner and you should see add to plugin database flag as favorite the minute I do that it tells me battery 4 would be added to this subcategory drums all right when I open up drums battery is in there with its respective picture this picture is actually useful not really over here I don't really want to see pictures over here over here I need a simple list okay that's just me you might want the pictures over here I don't but what I found out is when you take a snapshot of the pictures over here if you hit F8 now you'll see you have a picture of battery 4 in the plugin picker all right so moving ahead the beauty of what we just did add into favorites is also showed here under inserts which is the classic place to get it all right there's battery four if we go up here to um, the mixer there's all the MDA plugins all right so that's pretty much it you're able to customize you're able to reduce all of the clutter that comes with FL studio or you can keep it you know that's up to you um, but this to me seems is a lot much more intuitive as far as keeping what kind of plugins in their own folder or the manufacturer of those plugins um, in their own folder. So that makes it it makes it a lot easier to um, to uh, organize your plugins. There it is, part one, FL Studio 12 Master Series, plugin database and organization. Um, if you like what you see, please leave a comment below. If you don't like what you see, please leave a comment below. If you like what you see, hit the like. If you don't like what you see, that's how I get better at what I do, all right? Y'all know how I go. I am Yish. This has been Yish in your ear. Stay tuned.